Mohammed Morandi. Syed Mohammed Morandi from the University of Tehran. Thank you for joining us on the program. It's great to see you. Now, the Iranian ships were heading to Venezuela, and yet Thank a you. U.S. district court order uh, results in the cargo being seized. Does that stand up legally? Well, first of all, they weren't Iranian ships, and my understanding is that it wasn't Iranian fuel. It was probably fuel, if it was indeed going to Venezuela and it is Iranian fuel, then it was purchased by businessmen and uh, that they were taking it to Venezuela on their own. So what the Americans did was that they stole, and this is theft, it's, it's, and this is, I think, one of the extraordinary things about the United States today, especially under Trump, that it's becoming more crude in it, the way in which it conducts itself. It's behaving like an ordinary thief. Uh, uh, it, the pretenses and the so-called you know, so international law and the international order, that's all cast aside, and I think that's a sign of weakness in, on behalf of the United States. But, but in any case, this, is, uh, this would be fuel that's been purchased by private individuals uh, from the Iranians, because if the Iranians wanted to send their own fuel, they would use their own ships, as they did a couple of months ago. The Iranians sent five ships full of fuel to Venezuela, with the Iranian flag, Iranian insurance, Iranian ships, and uh, there was no problem. And the Americans uh, did not do anything about it because they knew there would be consequences. Well, that's a very interesting twist. Um, the timing is very curious as well. This incident comes just before the UN decides whether to extend the arms embargo in Iran, which was proposed by the US. Do you think that could be linked? I think it has more to do with the election in the United States, the, the presidential election and the, the elections in general in the United States, and that Trump wants to show himself as strong. But again, I think what it really does it sh is that it shows the lawlessness of the regime in Washington and how petty they've become in their behavior. They just simply behave like pirates of the 18th and 17th century on the high seas. They declare whoever they want to be terrorists or outlaws and they steal just like the, uh, the uh, you know, the gold used to be stolen from ships in, in, in previous centuries. And, and this sort of behavior is going to have consequences because ultimately, while the Iranian government does not own the oil, uh, but Iran in, will have to punish the United States in order to protect its, uh, the people who purchase Iranian oil so, so that Tomorrow, the Americans don't go after people who do business with Iran. So I think ultimately the Americans are going to have to pay a price. And th I, th I think the Americans are misleading themselves and their, their advisors in the United States are misleading them. The, the Iranians will definitely punish the United States, but they'll find their own way of punishing the United States. When the Iranians see that the Americans have, will abide by no rules, then that basically means the rapprochement or uh, any sort of truce with Americans in imp is impossible, and the Iranians will hit back, but in their own way. So how do you expect to, the Iranian government to respond to this move? And also, what kind of response do you think we can expect from the international community? Well, Europe is useless. The Europeans ob obey the United States. They have become increasingly weak and, and, and pathetic. And we see that in Venezuela, the Europeans obey the Americans. When the Americans decide that the, the, the government of Venezuela is no longer legal, then that's what the Europeans would do too. And when the British, you know, the British will steal Venezuelan oil to make ordinary Venezuelans suffer at the, you know, under, when the American government demands it. So the Iranians know quite well that they have to punish the Americans and they cannot depend on anyone else. And we have to remember, even Trump himself admitted that the United States has spent, he said this years ago, that the United States, I think, wasted $8 trillion in this region. Well, how was it wasted? The Iranians will, I'm sure, make sure that the Americans, which who are facing economic crisis at home and facing a, 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 a depression, an economic depression, that the Americans will be paying much more in this region and uh, so that will make the American economy suffer more. Uh, the United States is, is paying a heavy price as it is and they'll simply be paying a heavier price in the future. Saad Mohammed Morandi, professor at the University of Tehran, thank you for your time.